Hi there. First of all, I'm going to open up the stop on deep the alarm on defect software. Open in the flux leakage package. So I've double clicked on the flux leakage, and now we get this display. First thing we have to do is calibrate. So I select calibrate. We'll leave this area alone at the moment. We shall go down to capture. Select capture. I haven't repositioned the thing. Stop it. Okay. No. Now carry out the scan. I've got to the end of the, the, the calibration scan. I've turned capture off and I've got this display. First thing we do now is set the base level here. And the way we do that is we move the cursor over to near the 20% indication. So if I move it here, select, I've now changed the base level. So now you can see the, the defects down here and up here. So what we're going to do now is set the different percentages. First one I'm going to do is 20%, so I select the 20 So I've reset the base level to here by clicking with the B highlighted, and I just select, double click in that area, and it sets the base level. I now go over to here. I can highlight this area. It shows me the center point that I'm interested in. I select the 20%. I then click in this area here, and it repositions the, the marker over the 20%. Filming. I now to, re, to reset this image, I right click and it takes it back to there. We're now going to do the same thing with the 40% image. So you can select the 40, zoom in again, select the center, and you'll now see that the 40 has been repositioned here. To set the 60 and 80, you repeat the process on these two. So now, now we've set the four markers to show the blind. Here we have, this is the calibration. And that's all we have to do there. These boxes are here, here so that the user can set their own color map. So. I'm now going to exit. Film in. Okay then. So this is the screen after the calibration, after you've come out of it. View mode, we always leave at normal. Auto scale, we leave off. Max and minimum values, we set in this screen if you need to at minus 200 and plus 200. You can change the gate value here, percentage wise, but you can also change it in the next screen. The encoder setup, you don't shouldn't need to play with this because it's already been set. It's already been set. So now we press exit, and we now come into the alarm on defect screen. At this before we come in, the first thing you need to do before you can actually do any inspections is add a plate. So we go down to here, select add a plate, and there we go. We have added our plate. So now we can start scanning. Come in. So to adjust the gain, sorry, not the gain, the gate, we grab this, we take it down to 30%. Or whatever the user wishes to use as their threshold. So now then, we need to carry out an inspection. Come over, we come over to here, press inspect, and now we're ready to go. And you will notice that when we start, the idle will, will go green, and then when it goes over a defect, it'll go red. Off we go. Oh. Filming. Okay then, what we have here is the track that we've scanned down here, and here we have the, the, bu the buttons that scroll us through the scan. This is the first image, this is the first part of the scan. This area is comes up as a fault because it's as the defects, as, as the system is starting. Once the system gets under up to speed, we then get a, a nice green, no defects signal. As I scroll through, you can now see on here and on here, 
we have our first defect. This defect, as I hover over it, you can just see in this, as I hover over it, you can see this area here changing. And that is the 20% defect. As I carry on, you can now pick up the 40% defect. You'll also notice in this area here, whoops, sorry, touch screen, in this area here, that it's actually got the encoded distance from the beginning of the the beginning of your track. So we know that defect is 390 mil from the start. If we go to here, this defect is at seven, uh, 503 millimeters, and the maximum reading is 66 percent. If I scroll along again, you can now pick up these other defects here, as we can see there. And as I go over here, you can see that one's going down, but it tells you, you can see the, the height of the defects. And there we have it. Film in. Right, if I take the scan back to the first clear, totally clear plate, so if I go up here, I can select a defect and it takes me straight to that defect so I can look at it. If I double click on that defect, what it's done is it's created taking a photograph of that de basically taking a picture of that defect so if i slide this down out the way it gives us a screenshot like this i'll come out of that obviously we can download that and add it to our report what we've also done should you wish to get to it later is we've added our own shortcut so we can go to the defects there we have it so we've looked at these defects here we've we can see it here as well and that is all that we're really interested in the the alarm on defect software all it is for is doing a track at a time and then looking at, at the defects if there are any when you want to do your next inspection you click down on inspect it comes up with do you want to reset the encoder you say yes you're now ready to do your next inspection